Welcome to SDCom, the first cloud-based on-screen takeoff and estimating application designed for construction professionals. In today's guided tour, we'll walk you through the process of estimating a commercial plumbing project and demonstrate the capabilities of uploading plans, performing an on-screen takeoff, and moving quantity takeoffs to our estimating module where you can adjust labor factors, material pricing, profit margin, and finally produce a customer facing quote. Let's start by logging into the web application and creating a new project. You'll first land on your project dashboard. Here you can see a bird's eye view of all the projects your company is working on in various stages of the estimating life cycle. Let's go ahead and create a new project and enter the customer details like customer name, project description, bid due date, and project location. Next, let's upload a set of plans that I recently received from a general contractor in a bid request. Keep in mind, you can upload plans from many cloud-based applications like Amazon, Dropbox, Google Drive, or Microsoft OneDrive. In this example, let's browse to the location that I saved the files and click upload. Depending on the file size, this can take a few seconds or a few minutes for a very large file set. SDCom decomposes large multi-page files into individual pages, so you can delete, rotate, rename, and organize the pages as desired for easy navigation during the quantity takeoff step. In some cases, you'll need to perform an estimate without a set of drawings for service work or smaller projects. This is not a problem. Just bypass the plan and takeoff step we demonstrated here and click the estimating tab where you can enter material quantities directly into an estimate and create a customer facing quote. In our case, we'll click takeoff and begin our quantity takeoff using the plans we've displayed here. The takeoff tab is where the majority of your work will take place and is set up for easy navigation. You can move the drawings by clicking and dragging with your mouse or using your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And you can switch between plan sheets using the navigation pane here. To ensure accurate measurements, we'll first need to set our drawing scale. You can use our common scales if the scale is depicted on the drawing, or you can manually calibrate the drawing using a known distance such as a doorway. It's always the best practice to use a longer distance for improved accuracy and make sure you double check the depicted plan scale to ensure it is listed correctly. Here we have some additional tools like multi-select, cloud, annotations, and common plumbing design build symbols that can be dropped on the plan. You can also add a legend to your plan and download in PDF format and include your markup and annotations. Let's begin our takeoff by adding a half inch copper waterline that's depicted on the drawing. SDCom includes a commercial plumbing database of parts and assemblies out of the box with national average pricing powered by Craftsman. You can adjust the database as you see fit or build your own custom material database. Now you'll want to choose the takeoff type and adjust any other takeoff properties. Click Add Takeoff to Plan and you are ready to start measuring the run of pipe. To begin, click the start of the pipe, trace along the path using a single mouse click to turn where appropriate, and double click to terminate the run. Let's add a 3 quarter inch copper water pipe to finish the rest of the cold water run as depicted on the drawing. Again, we'll select the appropriate properties and when we click Add to Plan, the takeoff is ready to begin measuring the length of our pipe. Now that we've taken off the cold water pipe runs, let's add another 3 quarter inch copper pipe for our hot water run you see here on the drawing. Remember, you'll use the single mouse click to turn, and you can hold the shift key to make perfect straight lines and turn on 90s. If you by chance get off course, you can use the backspace key to remove a single segment at a time 
and again, double click to end the run. Let's organize our takeoffs into phases. This can be done by dragging the takeoff to the Create Group button and then renaming the groups. In this case, we'll break up the cold and hot water runs and then add a new takeoff for floor drains as depicted on the drawing and get a count on those items. Following the same process as before, we'll search the material database for a 2 inch PVC floor drain assembly. Let's adjust the takeoff properties appropriately and click Add to Plan and begin counting our floor drains. With count takeoffs, simply hover your mouse over the desired item, single click, and move to the next item. You'll see the counts increase in the takeoff pane as you count items on the drawing. Now let's rename the default phase appropriately and move to the estimating portion of the application by clicking the estimating tab. Here you'll see your takeoff quantities and you can expand the assemblies to see the underlying parts and quantity ratios, labor and material cost, and you can make adjustments where appropriate. In this example, I'll adjust the raw takeoffs by increasing the quantities to a nice round number. Next, let's add a couple inclusions and exclusions relevant to the project. And a note saying how long the pricing is valid. Now, let's adjust our burden labor rate for the project, which is used to calculate our labor cost, and then adjust our labor and material profit margins. Here you can see the projected cost and profit and below you can adjust your overhead, lost time, waste, and any taxes. Finally, click Show Bid and you can see the customer facing quote broken out with as much or as little detail as you'd like to provide the customer. Just download the PDF and forward along to the customer for approval.